Hi, everybody. I didn't. I wasn't planning on coming on today. Uh, in fact, I've got an interview to do in about ten minutes. But I wanted to thank uh, Pat Davis and B. Renee Lynch uh, for the kind words that they said to me. You have no idea how much that meant to me. I'm having a tough morning this morning, um, going through an evaluation process of finding out what else I need to do to be better in my spirit, just to be a better person. And sometimes that kind of reflection can be painful. And for me, when I go through this process, I go through this whole thing about what's not right, what's wrong, what do I need to fix? You ever feel that way? You know, you're trying to evaluate fairly. And so next thing you know, you got this long list of everything that's wrong and a very really short list about what's right. And I said, oh, you know, let me stop this. I got to get ready for this interview in a couple of minutes. And I said, let me go on to the um, uh, uh, group and uh, do some things and acknowledge, um, you know, that today's Tribute Thursday. And then I see this wonderful tribute to me. And it just made me cry. And, you know, somebody, I was talking to my new friend, um, who's awesome. She's the tapping queen. Her name is Keisha Dixon. You guys, I'll be talking more about her. Oh, my God. But she was saying that sometimes people just need to know that other people are human, that we bleed, we cry and all that. So I just wanted to let you know um, the Lynch. Hey, Daddy. Oh, my goodness. Now I'm really going to cry. My dad is <laughs> was listening. He's the one honorary male in the group. <laughs> He's 87 years old. So ladies, you're safe. <laughs> But I just wanted to say uh, to Renee and to Pat, uh, thank you so much for your words. You have no idea how much that meant to me to hear that before I start my day. The last few weeks have been really busy with this project that I've been working on. And now I'm working on the magazine and working on myself trying to help my daughters, being supportive of my husband, trying to be there for my friends. You know, what we all do as women. And sometimes you just wonder, uh, does anybody know what it is that you might need? <laughs> so, B. Renee um, and Pat Davis, thank you for taking the time, because I know you ladies are busy doing the stuff you need to do. Thank you for taking the time to acknowledge me that way. It really makes a big difference. Um, all of the almost 1,500 women that uh, are in this group, not everybody participates all the time, but you all do participate. And I just want to let you know that I appreciate that. And I want to give you tribute, all the wellness women, all of us out here over 40, 50, and 60 who are striving to still be relevant, striving to still be recognized by society as having value, and striving to be well while we do that. Um, our society is not kind to women as they age. And um, I was just talking with someone the other day about how some of our stars in Hollywood suffer from what I call the bobblehead look. You know what that is? That's when their bodies are really thin, but their heads get really big. I'm talking about those people who are, you know, over 40, over 50, trying to look 30, trying to still be a size two. Uh, but, you know, they're 60 and I don't even know if that's even good for you if that's not part of your body. You need that extra fat to protect your joints and all of that stuff. And I wonder if any of these women fall, will they break the bones? I mean, and I'm thinking, I'm talk, I was just watching Juliana Margolinas um, from The Good Wife. Is that how you pronounce her last name? I love her. But I was like, oh my God, she looks so thin. And, you know, I'm not anti thin and I'm not, you know, pro fat, but I'm just saying I am for being healthy. It's not what you look like. It's what your health is like. And I think sometimes we just need to be more gracious and more loving with ourselves. What do you say? Curvy is the new sexy. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to share this on my personal page. Thank you. Oh, thank you. We love you. too. Oh, thank you. I love you too, Renee. I do. And Pat, I mean, you guys have supported me. Uh, Keisha, thank you for the support. Uh, Becky, thank you for the support. And by supporting, I mean, these women have placed ads in my magazine. And there have been others of you who have inquired about it, who are planning on placing ads for the next issue that's coming up. And I'm telling you, uh, these magazines are not cheap to put out. And um, I appreciate you supporting me in that way. As long as I'm getting the support and the love back, I will continue doing what I'm doing because I've been doing this for nine years. But I have to tell you, this is my year. This is your year. 
this is the year, ladies, no matter what your age is, that you're going to walk into whatever the greatness is because you all have positive things going on in your life. And I know we get distracted by all the negativity that's going on right now. I know that it's a distraction. We worry about the future. Now we're wondering about, will we have abortion rights? You know, are they going to put us in concentration camps? All these different things. And we get, regardless of what your political ideologies are, and I'm not really want to get into that piece, just remember what it is that you need to be doing for you and your loved ones. Stay focused on your self-care and your self-love, and turn the rest over to God. You do what you can. You volunteer. You work in the community. You do all of that, but not to the detriment of your health. Ladies, let's not let what's going on in the outer enter into our inner bubble. And that doesn't mean that you're in denial. It doesn't mean that you don't think about these things or you do what you can to participate in community activities or support whatever your political ideology is. But that means that you don't do it to your detriment. You know, make sure that you're eating right. Sleep deprivation is huge for women. I'm guilty of it, but you got to do it. You got to sleep because if you're not sleeping, you're not at your best. And also, surround yourself with people who support you, people who believe in you. I mean, my dad is on here right now because he supports me. He believes in me. And I know what a blessing it is at 61 to still have a dad or to have a dad who knows how to work Facebook <laughs> at 87 years old and texting and all of that. He is my best friend and my biggest supporter. In fact, I sent a card to you that your Father's Day card, I got, it got sent yesterday. <laughs> Better late than never, okay? <laughs> but in what in there, I told my dad, and you know, I don't know if you're still on dad, but I told him, you know, dad, you are the love of my life. He really is. I mean, I love my husband, of course, but my dad's a hard act to follow. He's a hard act to follow in terms of his support of women. And um, at 87, understanding how important women are. And I mean, he had three daughters. So I guess if he wasn't into that before, he's into it now with three daughters and with four, uh, five granddaughters. Um, you begin, it, it just opened up his world of possibilities in terms of how important women are in the community. So, Dad, I appreciate your support. I've got to go. i got three minutes before I go live on another show. But I just want to say, first of all, namaste. Thank you. I love you all. Thank you to my supporters. And those of you who are new to uh, well, uh, the Wellness Woman movement, hey, send this to other people. Join the movement. I want to be part of this large movement of helping women to, be, to thrive and to be relevant and to be engaged and internized and renewed in terms of living their best life right now. Right now is your best life. Not what happened in the past. Or who knows what's going to happen in the future. But right now, be present, ladies. Be present. Be present in your bubble. <laughs> okay. Okay. I got to run to the other one. Woo, I hope I can connect to Zoom real quick. Um, thank you. See you real soon. Bye-bye. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Jesus knows that's what we need. Amen. I'm just reading my comments here. Love you guys. Bye-bye.